Hello and welcome back. In this video I'm going to illustrate the math.round function. And this one um, kind of does what it sounds like, but it also has a surprise, so certainly worthy of a video. I'm going to use my simple generic form. Uh, I have a text box called text output, and I want to set the text property to math.round of some number, like 11.2. In my previous example, I talked about the int function. Int would just round down every time. Uh, however, math.round does probably more of what you would think it would do. I'm also just going to slide a little C string on there because it does need to be a string. I'm not trying to talk about that in this video. So math.round, you would probably expect it to round 11.2 down to 11, and it would. And you'd probably expect it to make 11.7 around that into something like 12 and it does however the interesting case is on 11.5 and when we all learn how to round and we're in whatever grade that is we know that we round up on 0.5 right so let's run this program and it rounds up and of course right so why do I really need to talk about this well let's do 12.5 it's going to be 13, right? I mean, of course it is, unless it's not. And so at this point, uh, I introduce the idea of bankers rounding. So when we learn how to do math in whatever grade that is, I don't even claim to know, uh, we always round up on 0.5 and it works fine because we need to be able to agree upon how to round things in a math class or in many other settings. However, machines, half the time they round up, and half the time they round down. And so the rule is, you're wondering what's the tiebreaker? It's always gonna round to the closest even number. Right? So for 12.5, if it went up, it would be 13, which is odd. So instead it goes down to 12, because it's an even number. Now for that 11 example, the reason it goes up is because 12 is an even number and 11 is odd. So really half the time it's going to go up and half the time it's going to go down. This only applies when the least significant digit is a point is a 5, right? So here it would apply. So that's what math.round does. Is it rounds to the nearest even whole number uh, when you when the least significant digit is a is a point 5 like that. But in every other situation, right, like 5.51, things like that, it's going to do exactly what you expect it to do. So don't get too carried away with that, right? It's There's only one time when it does that strange rounding behavior. And if you want a brief explanation of why, think about like a bank, right? I mean, computers oftentimes might process millions of transactions per day. And if they were rounding up on every one of those, it would add up. So what they do is half the time they round up and half the time they round down. So that's known as banker's rounding. Uh, not, I mean, I'd rather not talk about it, but it's one of those things that you're going to stumble across at some point, and so now you know what's happening. Uh, thanks for watching.